Hello guys, so today we'll be checking uh, how we can create a point of sale system for our web-based online open card platform based web store. So I'll be explaining that uh, to you today. So uh, so using the uh, open card point of sale system plugin, now uh, the merchants can manage the inventories and customers for their uh, physical stores using the web-based browser itself. So right now you can see that I'm already uh, at the login uh, screen for the agent to the point of sale system. So I'll be showing you the workflow at the POS terminal first and the rest of the configurations in the admin backend panel. But before that, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. So uh, I'll be entering my login credential for my agent for my POS terminal and I'll be tapping here on the sign in button thereafter. You can see that the uh, products are being loaded and the rest of the details as well. And in a few seconds, here we are having our web based uh, POS terminal right now for the open card platform based web stores. So on the left hand side, we have the checkout orders, returns, settings, others, reports, and we have a button to toggle between the online and the offline mode as you can see. On the right hand side, we have the name of the uh, agent, uh, the uh, name of the area where this particular POS terminal or the physical outlet is. We have the barcode scanner. We have the uh, option to set the orders on hold. We have the cart and the cart section as well on the right hand side. In the middle, we have the complete list of products. Here we have the categories as you can see. Here we have the option to toggle uh, between the uh, or to choose a category from the list below. So if I choose this electronics, laptop notebooks, that would be displayed here. Let's go to the popular ones for the time being. We have a search bar to search the products. So we can search the products from here. So the PS channels can, PS channel agents can easily uh, basically uh, search for the products as well. So uh, that was how the agents can log in how they can build the products here uh, with the same, how they can search the same. Now, uh, let's see uh, the online and the offline mode. So, uh, for example, there's no internet connectivity, so I'll just take it as offline. Even if we are offline, we can place the orders within the POS uh, system. So for that, what I'll do is, for example, I will be adding a product to the cart. I've added the product to the cart. To increase the quantity, I can tap here in the uh, plus button. To decrease, I can tap on the minus button there and uh, here you can see that we have the option to select a customer as well so if i tap here i can type in the name of the existing uh, customer so if it's if uh, if uh, the customer is there we'll be able to find it otherwise we can add a new customer also by tapping in the add customer button but the add customer would only work when we are online so we'll just choose the customer name there now after choosing the details here we can uh, proceed further to make the payment apart from that if you're delivering it to the home you can add the home delivery charges here as well as per your own requirement there and then tap here on the checkout button as you can see so i'll just tap here on the checkout choose the mode of payment enter the amount entered by the customer so i'll enter it as thousand dollars and if you want you can add a note as well and then tap here on the accept payment to generate an uh, invoice you can tap here and generate the invoice here you'll find the invoice itself so i'll just be showing you the preview of the same right now so this is the preview of the same the product the pricing the amount and the rest of the details are there let's cancel that out so we have placed the order in the offline mode right so that's why it's uh, here uh, if i go to the order section here we have uh, the previous orders, orders on hold and the offline orders. This is Jennifer Doe customer and this is the, the order that we've just placed. And uh, now whenever we come back online, uh, you can see that uh, if I refresh this page, the particular order would then be synchronized with our online store itself. So you can also do that manually by tapping here in the sync all offline orders. And now you can see that uh, the orders are synchronized to the server there. So that was about the online and the offline mode. In offline mode as well, you can place the orders. 
Now, uh, after that, uh, now let me show you how we can hold the orders. So for example, I have uh, a product in the cart, maybe two products to the cart, and the customer wants to add some more products to the cart, and he goes ahead and uh, leaves the counter. Now, there are people in the uh, line who want to make the checkout, so I can put the customer's cart on hold by tapping here on the, uh, uh, what we say as the hold order button, and I can add a note test hold and I can hold this order the card gets empty now we can process the orders for the other customers as well and then we can make a checkout to remove a product from the card just tap here on the cross button now if I go to the orders and on the under the on hold we will find this on hold order I can tap that up and that brings that up into the card to make a checkout thereafter so that's how you can make use of the on hold uh, or order on hold thing you can also access the orders on hold by tapping here on this button just next to the uh, cart icon there so uh, that was how we can place uh, uh, or how we can place the orders in the uh, order on hold section there so uh, that was it and i hope it helped you in understanding the checkout process and the other options there Apart from that, uh, we also have the return section wherein uh, the history of the returns can be checked by the uh, uh, POS agent and you can also uh, return any order by tapping here on the return order button, entering the order ID for that particular order and then proceeding further. So you can check the user guide for a better understanding for the same there. Now in the settings, uh, we have the basic settings for the, uh, for the agent itself and he, he can uh, change his first name last name and can save his details there apart from that uh, for the pos terminal the agent can choose the language uh, as uh, ltr or rtl that is left to right or right to left languages as well can choose the currencies as well from multiple ones so he can choose any one of them coming to the others here you can see uh, the request history is there for the uh, products that have been uh, that are going that are basically in the low stock mode right now here are here under the request you can generate uh, uh, the request uh, for the products that are going to be uh, uh, completed or the, uh, which are going to be emptied uh, uh, emptied there so you can choose the supplier there into the comments and by tapping here you can make a request uh, there and the request is then visible under the same here under the others if i go to the request now here's our uh, request for the quantity seven supply john doe and the product is uh, diamond rings here uh, we can see the number of uh, or the uh, low products right now who are in uh, low stock right now whose quantity is going to uh, deplete in a while so those are uh, available under the low stock product section then uh, we have the reports uh, and uh, from here the agent can check the end of the day report here as you can see the first order id the number of total orders that were placed total sales value total products returned and uh, much more here also you can see it in a pie chart as well and the most product sale is also been displayed here as you can see along with the monthly uh, total sales value as well now let's go back to the up top so uh, from here the vendor or the agent can filter out the data according to the dates as well by selecting a date and then tapping on the uh, filter option there so uh, that was much uh, about the front end working of the web based browser for the open Gap platform based web stores so uh, I hope this helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. For more details, you can anytime check our uh, user guide. You can also apply the discounts uh, on the orders as well. You can apply a combination of the fixed and percentage as well. So for example, if I go ahead and set a fixed one as uh, 40 and tap here on the apply, we can see that uh, $40 uh, would be discounted. So $40 and discount is same is with the case with coupon codes. If the customer has a coupon code that can be applied to the cart itself and then can, can the agent uh, make a check out thereafter. Now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see how the terminals can be created in the first place and the rest of the options as well. So now let's go to the admin backend panel.
So I'll be logging into my OpenCart platform based web stores back in panel and after the successful installation of the OpenCart point of sale system or the side panel the admin will find the POS uh, option and under that he'll have different options to manage. One is the POS product, POS reports, POS returns, POS orders, users and the supply management. Apart from that to make the initial configuration settings you'll have to navigate to extensions then extensions here choose modules and here we'll have to go to the point of sale system so let me scroll down and here we have the point of sale system so we'll tap here on the edit button and that brings up the complete configuration settings for the point of sale system itself so here we have the general settings customer settings payment settings shipping details customer receipts barcode settings progressive web app manifest and the POS layout color, we have the price settings as well. So you can check these uh, settings uh, within the uh, user guide that are attached within the description of this particular video for a better understanding. So right now I just wanted to show you the different options here that we have. So let's go to the POS products first. So under this, uh, you can find the complete list of products that you have assigned to the uh, POS and those products would be displayed here and for these products you can generate uh, the uh, barcodes in mass as well by selecting all of the products and then tapping on the uh, mass generate uh, barcodes from here you can print the barcode as well by tapping on the print for individual products if you want to generate the barcodes just tap here on the uh, regenerate barcode uh, if you have uh, already regenerated it you can regenerate the barcode as per your requirement there many times as you require uh, apart from that under the POS reports uh, here the admin will find the complete product reports uh, of the different uh, outlets that are there for the multiple outlets multiple uh, products that have been sold out those would be displayed as well here we have the sales report uh, as well for a particular uh, uh, POS terminal that we have we have the sales chart as well having the different details having the bar graphs and the pie charts so you can check these all the configurations in the uh, user guide there we also have the returns uh, section so if from here the admin can check the returns that have been made on the POS terminals there then we have the POS orders so all of the complete list of orders are being displayed here uh, that have been placed through the multiple uh, point of sale terminals that you have that are being basically uh, displayed here under the users we have the POS users and the outlet so here you can uh, create the POS users or the agents and you can create the POS outlets uh, let me open them up in another window so here you can create uh, multiple uh, POS terminal users by tapping on the add button you can delete them you can edit them so uh, you can set the username choose the outlet where you want to assign this agent to and the rest of the details there save it and you're done creating a new one and assigning him to a new uh, POS terminal same goes for the POS outlets you can see these outlets are there to add a new one just tap here on the add button set the name the address the country of the outlet outlet zone save it and you're done creating a new POS outlet under the point of sale under the users we have the POS uh, outlets and we have the supply management for the POS suppliers as well as for the POS supply request out there. Kindly check the user guide for a much better understanding. And uh, yes, that was much about today's uh, video. And if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions, or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support out there to webcool.com, raise a ticket at webcool.us.com, or reach us through https colon forward slash forward slash www.webpool.com forward slash contacts and lastly if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up also thanks for watching this particular video and have a